Hello traders, this is Independence Weekend. My name's D7 and this is good through Sunday, July 2nd, 2017. And I'm here with my lovely executive assistant, Keisha. Hello everyone. Wanted her to be with me as I did the weekend edition review to help teach her while I'm teaching you. So, markets on Friday in the day mixed. Everybody up slightly. Diamonds doing the best up 0.3 percent, but small caps down 0.2 percent. Banks off by a half a percent. Financials off also, but crude oil up three percent. We have some news on that. Gold down, silver down, guys. You're not going to like what I'm going to share with that. We got a lot of information, but fear dropping by two percent. Okay, here we are looking at the markets. Before I do, we have some information, and that information comes by. Let me move this out. Go here now. I am at freeonlinetradingeducation.com, and a lot of you guys don't know this, but if you scroll over, over, over here to phone ringing and you click here on more go down you'll see 2017 market close dates you click on that and once you click on that you will see all the market close dates you'll notice here on Tuesday, which is Independence Day, July 4th, we're going to be closed that whole day. But Monday, Monday, the markets will be open, but we'll close at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So that's where you can get it the next time the market is closed, Labor Day in September. But this is where you go to get that. Again, just head over here to more and you'll see more at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. All right, let's get to the charts and move this back. Oh, you know what? Right before I do, I'm going to share this because it will be pertinent later. I want you to make note of it. If you go to Grok Trade, I want you to click on Trading Mentor. July 15th, 16th, and 17th is done online. Click that. We'll talk about that later. Okay. And oh, by the way, Keisha with me right now. That is her in the background. <laughs> that is Keisha. <laughs> just if you didn't know that. Okay. Yes, I absolutely just love that video. Super excited about it. <laughs> Sarcasm. All right, here's the deal. We're going to look at daily, weekly, and monthly. Now, Keisha, I'm going to be teaching you and not so much talking to my audience here. Okay? No problem. So here's the deal. Do you, this is the S&P 500, mm -hmm. most important indice that's out there because it gives us the, the best barometer reading of what's happening in the markets as a whole. Okay. This blue line right here. So let's go back. I'm going to show you this blue line. See the swing low? Yes. I drew a trend line from here. Let's follow this up. Okay. Follow it up, 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 up. We went to this major swing low. See how that's a major one? Yes. We follow that up, up, up. The last few sessions, look at this. So this is Friday. This is Thursday. That's Wednesday. And then Tuesday. See Tuesday broke down below it? Yeah. That's big time problem city. We did bounce back on Thursday. Or I'm sorry, um, Wednesday. So Wednesday we bounced up. But what happened was Thursday something bad happen and we come crashing down again closing lower than that trend line this is a choppiness that i do i don't see it very often in the market it's been trading 19 years to have no follow through okay so this one broke that trend line we should have just crashed and burned we did not do that we came up if we came up this is called a jab and that should rally up hard that did not happen. On Thursday, we come crashing down again. That's very rare to get a jab, heal itself, and then come back down. That's telling me there is a ton of indecision out there in the markets, a ton of it. 
this worries me. So I'm calling this video a warning video and I'm gonna be sharing with everybody on this video why it's a, a, a warning video. This is so important that we all watch this and understand this in great detail, okay? Uh, move this back just ever so slightly. Actually, we don't need those numbers anymore, so I'm gonna blow this up a little bit, bring this down. Yeah, no, this is good. Okay, now, here's the deal. This broke a ton of resistance. On Thursday, we came down, touched this trend line. That's this line, support, support, support. Do you see how it went down, touched it, and then yes. bounced off of it? It's It did it perfectly. These trend lines matter. You, we have to understand that trend lines are very important to us. And we do teach that in our mentorship. And you remember, you sat through a mentorship helping us. How many have you Thank sat through? Um, two now. Two? Yes. The trend line section that we do lasts several hours. Um, is you can see the importance of it here. So now watch. Yes. Now, this is a daily chart, but I want to know what's ha Oh, before I do that, I'm going to bring in the MACD. Do you remember from what this is called by chance? A bearish die. Divergent. <laughs> divergence, right. So we're going up here, but we're going down there. There is a bearish divergence. That is bad, bad news, especially, especially when you have what's called a rising wedge. wedge. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. Rising wedge. The rising wedge has been broken now. So that is problem city. Okay, now let's go to the weekly chart. This is on the S&P 500. Big rising wedge, mm -hmm. went into a small rising wedge, and on the MACD, we have a bearish what? divergence. Divergent. Yeah, it's divergence. So that now broke this week. This week, the week is done. We broke below the trend line. Big time sell item. I put a sell on that, bad, bad news. I called it, look for that to drop. It did drop so I can get rid of what I thought was going to happen because it did happen. I do have a decisive sell signal now on this. Bad, bad news, okay, for the markets. There's my sell. If I go to the monthly chart, because the month is over, half the year is done now, okay? So we are we're going into July. If I look at the monthly chart, what you'll notice is, look at this run that we went up. You see how we went higher, 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 and then we get this doji. Mm -hmm. Usually a doji after an extended run means indecision, and then you'll get a reversal. And do you see how we went red the last couple months? Yes. Okay, look at this. We go higher, 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 higher. What do we have? Doji. A doji. So what do we expect to happen? To go back down. Go back down. I think we have a very good chance of going back down right here. And this is a monthly chart. All right, so now let's go over here, take a look at the diamonds, look at the uh, daily first. Here's the daily on the diamonds. So the diamonds, so the diamonds is the Dow 30. Okay, 30 stocks in an ETF form. Exchange traded funds, it's basically a mutual fund on the Dow. Okay, I called a sell, on the daily yesterday because we broke it. Um, and today we tried to get back up, or Friday, we couldn't do it. We're staying below a major support line here. Bad news. For the diamonds, if I look here at the weekly chart on the diamonds, this is the worst news. Look at the two blue lines. Look at this, we hit floor, ceiling, ceiling, floor, 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 floor. Yeah, it quit going to the ceiling. Yeah. It's a ball rolling on the floor. And then it broke down. We crashed down, we tried to come back by week's end, could not do it, and we did break. So I have a sell now on the diamonds. I have a sell on the weekly diamonds and a sell on the weekly S&P 500. I wanna look at the monthly chart, monthly chart. Up, 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 we're hitting resistance or support? That is resistance. That is resistance. So anytime you hit resistance, what usually happens? Goes back down. We're at resistance. 
So I put a warning sign up here, and I think that it's going to start heading down. I'm not going to put a sell signal in it because I don't have a sell signal yet. We don't know. We don't know, but it's definitely a warning area on the monthly chart on the diamonds. Okay. Now we're going to go to the NASDAQ, predominantly tech-type companies, okay? If I go here to the techs, here's the daily chart. Daily chart has a lot of lines on this. Uh, I'll get rid of this one. It's just... I was going to say, it starts to look like twiddly dinks that old game when they all sticks that <laughs> is that what the name of it? Yeah. i don't remember Sorry. yeah i wouldn't remember the name of it <laughs> yeah um but anyway got this symmetrical triangle it broke down thursday so we had to put a cell on that and we have another area where is that line coming from hold on oh these two one two it may not be i don't know we did touch it there on friday we have a sell on it, but that could come back. Again, daily chart, you can see that back there. See the Qs and then the D? D is for daily. You can see it there, D for daily. Because we're gonna go to weekly, and you'll see that that will change to a W, and a W there. Um, look I at, didn't know that. <laughs> so look at this, you go higher, 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 crash, we broke below it. Bad news on the weekly chart. I have a sell on the weekly NASDAQ, on the weekly diamonds, on the weekly S&P, Spider, okay? okay? The weeklies are big time bearish. That's huge because that means the next few weeks could be big time bearish going into the future. Even though they're above all the lines, the term lines, or the, the um, moving averages. Moving averages. Yeah. We are still above them. We are way in front of the party right now. Most people have no idea we're in trouble. Most people have no idea because they don't know how to properly draw trend lines. We know that this is the crack in the ice. This has to happen before you can break any of the moving averages. So we get we get indicated first. Okay, so that's the weekly. And the M is for? Monthly. Monthly. Man, I'm so smart. <laughs> Quick learn. Okay, so we're up, 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 up. We broke over resistance, okay, last month. This was great, right? Yes. It's like, oh, this thing could keep going. Bad news. This month, we popped up and then came back closing below that trend line. This is going to be a jab. And if this is a true drab, jab, not only are the weeklies bearish, the monthlies could get bearish. This could go really bearish, guys, going into the future. It doesn't mean it's going to, but I'm telling you, this is what you should see if the markets are going to go big time bearish. So do you pay attention to this because of... Great eye. Huge volume on the sell yeah, side. Yeah, volume. That's the word I was looking for. Huge volume. Great eye. Very important that you notice that. Very small volume going up. You see that? Mm -hmm. Big volume coming down. On the monthly chart, that is huge. So this is big time trouble for the markets. That's why everybody's gonna be watching this video because they want to, They need to know this. They're gonna to wanna to know this. Oh man, yeah, this is bad. All right, so let's go to small caps. I'm doing them all here because small caps can lead the charge one direction or the other uh, because they just do. On the monthly or on the daily chart, small caps are Russell's 2000. Thursday, put a sell on it. Friday, we did continue down. It looks like we have more downside opportunity here. Let's see what the weekly is doing. The weekly hasn't broke down like the NASDAQ, Diamonds, and the, um, the S&P. It's in a rising wedge. It's pinching. It's in the apex. This is telling me it wants to go down. If I look at the MACD, we do have a bearish divergent, divergence. And it looks like this is going to go down, okay? That's what I expect it to do here. Expect it to drop. Let's see if it does. But normally, you should see this dropping already. Hmm. It's not. It's, so right now, it's holding, it's buoyant when everything else drops. So this is interesting. If I go over here to the monthly, the monthly now is at, what? what's that called? Oh, resistance. Resistance. So if you're at resistance, usually you drop. You come up to resistance, usually you drop. Resistance, you drop. Okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right. So that's kind of what's to be expected. So we should drop. I put a warning sign there. Okay. 
you'll notice I put an arrow up and down. The reason I did that here is because this is a high base. Yes, it is. Go up and it builds a high base. High bases are bullish. They can break out or break down. The only thing I can save this market right now is if we get small caps to break out to the upside in a meaningful banner. If that happens, the rest of the markets will follow and those sell signals I have will heal themselves because they won't be bullish or bearish any longer. I think that there's a much better chance of us dropping than this breaking out. I'll make this one tiny, <laughs> okay? I think, so this is my confidence level, okay? Okay. Right there on small caps, monthly chart. So that's where we're at on the major indices. Now I wanna look at the banks. The banks have been on fire, but on Friday, I had to put a sell signal because we popped up, everything looked great, but then we came back down. When that happened, I had to put a sell signal on that. Put a little line there so we have a symmetrical triangle. triangle. We're at resistance, so it should go. Should go down. Should go down. Precisely right. Now this is on the daily chart. If I go over here to the weekly chart, this is on the banks. The banks haven't broke down yet. I put a sell in that last week, mm -hmm. but this week we rallied back. We're still in here. I'm gonna keep my sell on it. We're still within the banks here and or within the trend lines. So this anything could happen. It could break out, it could break down. Anything can happen, it's anybody's guess here. I'm gonna stay with my sell though. If I go over here to the monthly chart, my monthly, I said, I said, look for that to go higher. It did go higher. I can get rid of that now. And I put a buy on it for the month. Because hmm. we went up, 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 put a sell on it. We did a bull. Pullback. Pullback. <laughs> wow, you're picking up these terms nicely. And now we popped up. There's our buy on the monthly chart. So we have the banks really setting up to be bullish here. And the banks can lead the market. So the only help that the markets have right now is a strong bank and financial, and it has the small cap still hanging in there, and fear is relatively low. Okay, financials, if we go to the financials, financials, same thing, very quick, put a sell on it, okay? Because we broke down below it on the daily, on the weekly financials, we're up, up, up. I had a buy on it back way back here in April, we continue to go higher, but we're at this area. Do you see this line coming across? Yes. That's resistance. We went up there. People sold at that resistance. So I don't know. We might be at a high. Last time we were here, we dropped. That could happen again. That's the weekly. Now, the monthly, if you look here, the monthly, I put a buy on it. said I thought it would go higher. It did, so I can get rid of that now. And there's my buy. Same thing. It looks just like the banks. The banks and financials look very, very similar. U.S. dollar daily chart I called it a sell back here we drop 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 but this is a spinning top reversal pattern it looks like a spinning top one of those ones you spin on a tabletop and it mm -hmm. just spins forever I expect it to go higher here the US dollar to go higher and if it goes higher uh, I'll put a buy on it but right now I can't put a buy on it we're still dropping but that's what I expect the US dollar to do if I look here at the weekly chart I expect that to go higher, but we broke this support line. So the weekly looks very bearish to me. I still have a sell on it, and I'll stay with my sell. The monthly US dollar, I have a sell on it back here in July or January, start of the year, and we drop, 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 drop. We continue to drop. I do foresee this going higher, but wow, we broke down below the 20-month moving average, so it's acting really weak. Does it, it have the bearish divergence? Also, though, yeah, it, it really does. It, go down? it does. Well, it broke down, but it's pretty extension to the downside. So this could pop up a bit and then drop again. Okay. So it'd just be a little bear pullback. Yeah. Nice eye. Crude oil. For those people that trade crude oil, here's the daily chart. Called it kind of late. Remember me saying that, guys, out there in Grok Trader Land? Called it late, but man, we are on fire right now going to the upside i should have called this a couple days earlier but i missed it i just didn't get it, get it called so staying true to my uh calls 
I put it where, but I was late. I told him I could reverse that pretty soon, but I didn't have to. It's still going up. And this is, again, crude oil. If I look over here on the weekly chart, crude oil, put a buy on the weekly. Look at this, guys. Had a sell here, down, 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 down. Now it's buy, but it could be a short-term buy, guys. But I got buy on crude oil. The monthly chart looks bearish. I got a sell on the monthly chart, but, but, but. We hammered out, so we got a hammer down here. Do you see how it looks like a hammer? Yes. Big lower, yeah, that's a big hammer. I expect it to go higher, so that's why I got that arrow there. But I can't put a buy on it yet because we haven't gone higher. Okay, gold and silver, this is big news. Everyone wants to talk about gold and silver. Here it is, gold and silver. You can give me some gold. Yeah, right. I, you, yeah. Um, oh, before I get into all this, I, I want to remind you guys, if you can make, be with us on July 15th. Yes, 15th, 16th, and 17th online. Yeah, click on Trading Mentor. Now, this will give you a little information. Uh, just you can read it all for you engineer minds that want all the data. But for you others, you're going to see these, these uh, testimonials. And I put too many of here, yeah, too many. You're going to spend all day listening to these testimonials, but they're the real deal. I mean, you're going to hear from the hearts of people that's been through our mentorship. And this is what you want to do. Now, if you can make those three days, 15, 16, 17, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, fill out the form, especially if you're here in the United States. We'll go over everything. We'll talk about how your trading will be transformed and we'll tell, just give you all the facts, everything from the tuition fee to what all the benefits you're going to get. Yeah, it's, it's great. You want to be a part of this. Okay, now let's get back to the markets. Okay, gold. This is a... This is a daily chart. We call it a sell on Thursday. We broke down. That's a sell on a daily, okay? If I go here to the weekly, the weekly, I had a sell on it. I'm staying with my sell. We had a triangle. We broke down from the triangle. Mm -hmm. Bad news for gold. Gold continues to be a weekly sell. The monthly, I put a sell on the monthly. So the daily, weekly, and monthly are all set up with sell signals. Did you see how we popped up over this trend line, but then we immediately closed down below it? Yes. Bad news. Bad news bears. Remember that show? <laughs> yeah. Um, that that's a that's so there's my sell. Guys, very, very careful with gold and silver. If I go to silver, we're gonna start with the monthly. Monthly, I still have a buy on it. We haven't broke down below trend lines. It could still go higher. It looks like it still could on the monthly. We're going to reverse this weekly chart on the silver. I called it a buy. Oh, here's a problem. I called it a buy last week. But this week, guess what I have to do? Call it a sell. Why? Because it closed below a trend line. So that is not good. Not good. So there's my call there. Let's see what the daily is doing. The daily, I have a sell on it on Thursday, and we continue down. The problem is we hit this resistance. We come down. We failed to hit resistance again. So it's relative weakness. So now it's dropping. This could get ugly and quickly. Ugly and quickly. Yeah, grocktrade.com. Hey, you just say it in your own words. Why should they join us next month? <laughs> because if you really want to become a trading rock star, you need more education and learn how to do it the right way. It's amazing. I sat through this, uh, the mentorship and learning how to draw the trim lines, learning everything on how to read those charts. It is amazing on the things. And I hear a lot of people call to join in and they tell me the experience they have and how long they've been trading. And I'm in shock. I'm like, you're out there trading and that's all the knowledge you have. Now I don't say that to them directly, but it goes through my head. And uh, if you like to drive down the highway blindfolded, well then that's like trying to trade without education. <laughs> so there's my take on it. All right, cool. All right, guys, hope you are all doing well. Happy Independence Day. Stay, stay safe out there. Take care. Bye.